Safe Moon might be just another Ponzi scheme. Here's why. There have always been get-rich-quick scams as long as money has existed where people are tempted by promises of easy money in double-quick time with little or no risk. Unfortunately, most of these schemes are nothing more than Ponzi schemes that rely on people's natural greed and susceptibility. So naturally, the crypto industry, as a symbol of money's technical progress, has seen more than its fair share of such frauds, which obviously drives some people away. Keep in mind that when it comes to your hard-earned cash, we don't claim to be financial experts. So at the end of the day, it's entirely up to you what you do with the information we provide in our content. This video will help you to understand if SafeMoon is a safe investment or if it's just another one of those Ponzi schemes. Before we go any further, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about other cryptocurrencies. Aside from criminal behavior or acting sus, many of the altcoins and so-called meme coins that continue to surface are slowly destroying the confidence and faith placed in genuine and well-established cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. While some of these have a realistic chance of making decentralized finance a reality, most are nothing more than modern-day get-rich-quick scams for their CEOs and a few lucky investors. So what makes people think SafeMoon might be a scam? Why SafeMoon could be a Ponzi scheme? When crypto skeptics hear about coins such as Dogecoin, a meme coin that was originally started as a joke, skyrocketing in value by 6,500% in 2021, Fueled largely by tweets and bluster from people like Elon Musk, it reinforces their belief that crypto as a whole is a bubble, or worse, a scam. As a result, conflicting tweets and online excitement in general worsen the challenges brought by Elon and other Doge devotees on Twitter. Some claim that day trading such tokens has enabled them to amass substantial wealth in a relatively short period of time, but the reality is that they got lucky by buying the coins when they were only a fraction of a penny and selling them when prices spiked. Then there are the stories of people who were pulled in by promises of a quick buck or even the potential of riches, expecting to mimic the success of the earlier adopters like Bitcoin. But what actually happens is that most of the time they bite off more than they can chew by investing at the peak of the market. And then they see their fortunes disappear when the market starts to fail due to external factors like the war between Russia and Ukraine. But of course, some get lucky too. These types of investments are usually the result of a FOMO based investment strategy. Don't be that person. Research, research, research. Research. Some people can, of course, become very rich with crypto if they are smart with it and do a lot of research. But then there are others who lose money. But the key takeaway here is that stable and long-lasting cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are painted with the same brush, with their prices and reputations being affected by the aftermath of altcoin collapses. SafeMoon is one of the newer altcoins that has drawn the typical investor's attention. But what is it? And is it safe at all? Let's find out. On its website, SafeMoon is characterized as a community-driven, fair-launch DeFi token. SafeMoon is a newcomer to the industry as a decentralized finance coin launched by John Caron in March 2021. SafeMoon is a BEP20 compatible currency that was introduced on the Binance Smart Chain, a blockchain network that utilizes the proof of authority consensus process. This is essentially a hybrid between the proof of staking and the proof of authority mechanisms, which are both self-explanatory, really. A cost of 10% is charged for each transaction of the platform's SafeMoon BEP20 token. So 5% of the fees dispersed to SafeMoon holders, and the remaining 5% is divided into two halves. The remaining 5% is allocated to the liquidity pool, which includes SafeMoon and Binance Coin. But why do the developers call it special? SafeMoon is a special digital currency. Why? Because if anyone attempts to trade their SafeMoon coins, they're subject to a fine. It's not enough to propel SafeMoon into the top cryptocurrencies by market cap, but it's already catching the attention of hungry investors. And despite the selling costs, SafeMoon is still pretty affordable, standing at this price at the time of making this video. And it has a market cap of approximately $3 billion. That doesn't appear to be a sensible investment though, considering that it doesn't really accomplish anything and the only hope of profit in the future is that more people will continue to invest. Considering that SafeMoon is organized in a way that encourages individuals who acquire the currency to retain it for the long term, it's plausible that its inventors had good intentions when they created it. They accomplished this by subtracting a 10% charge from each sale, with half of the proceeds going to current coin holders. A tax like this may theoretically inhibit day traders because gains would have to surpass the deduction to make any sale profitable with the fines involved. So 
Should you invest in SafeMoon? SafeMoon has released a whopping thousand trillion coins. For perspective, there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoins created and the entire supply won't be available until roughly 2140. Wow, that's so far ahead in the future, I can't even imagine. Anyway, the scale of a safe moon token issue should be a warning signal in and of itself. Consider how many of the web advertising jokes revolve around the seemingly plausible idea of safe moon reaching a valuation of just one cent. At this point, the safe moon token's real use case appears to be essentially meaningless. After studying their website and analyzing several other stories in the media, we're still unclear about what helpful use it provides or what SafeMoon's long-term goal is. Right now, it only appears to be a vehicle for yet another investment pump and dump. So just beware. There's absolutely no doubt that some people will gain some quick money by placing well-timed wagers, but many more will be drawn in and risk more money than they can afford to lose. These people will probably be those who lose money later without any research into the project, and then when they've lost money, they'll blame the crypto industry as a whole. Don't be that person. Any sort of price pump could be the product of coordinated group operations on platforms like Discord and Reddit, or it could just be the cumulative effect of tweets, YouTube videos, and TikTok videos. It might be the reflective of the normal frenzy that occurs when the price of an investment climbs fast. Such movements tend to attract other investors who feel obliged to participate out of FOMO. Don't buy into that. It makes no difference what the reason is. Holders will undoubtedly abandon ship when the price becomes too high to sustain, causing the price to collapse and punish those who didn't get out in time. You've been warned. All of the numerous frauds and schemes that attract individuals with the promise of fast and easy wealth have proven to be true throughout history. The reality is that the bubble will eventually burst, and the last person holding on will be the one who suffers the most. But why does it matter for cryptocurrency in general? We're sure you might be wondering what the issue is. Also, what does it matter if a lucky few or bold people earn a fast buck? Well, first of all, there's an ethical concern. There really is nothing to differentiate developers of crypto coins like SafeMoon from scam artists who offer products that could yield unrealistic results, like a penis enlargement supplement, for example. Weird example, but that's just to get the point across. Anyway, the other reason that's concerning is the potential harm that such coins might do to the positive reputation and good faith associated with genuine cryptocurrencies with long-term usage and true value, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin, for example, has a declared long-term goal of decentralizing and radically altering our financial system by giving individuals greater power, ownership, and influence. It claims to lower the cost and difficulty of moving money across national borders and throughout the world. Additionally, it provides everyone with a true store of value that can't be deflated at will by governments printing new money. While many skeptics refer to Bitcoin's historical price movements as a trait in line with SafeMoon, there are major and material distinctions between the two. Projects like these tend to scare away people who sincerely want to learn how the crypto industry works and what advantages it may provide. As a result, many people who might benefit from becoming involved are prevented from doing so. So what should you do? It's up to you to decide how you want to invest your money. We all have different risk tolerances and appetites. When emotions are set aside, the smart course of action is to only invest money that you can afford to lose, and ideally only in things that you truly understand. In the case of SafeMoon, some people could probably profit from trading it. The question is whether it will have a long-term future or whether it will collapse in the near future, dragging with it many investors' hopes and dreams. Whatever happens, we think that some authentic cryptocurrency supporters will be eager to guarantee that Bitcoin and Ethereum aren't spoken of in the same breath as SafeMoon or viewed in the same light. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos. Please also leave a comment below to tell us what you think about SafeMoon. If you want to find out the difference between a promising crypto project versus SafeMoon, click on the pop-out banner to watch our video on Waves.